What is up everyone? Welcome to today's training. We are going to be talking about the four steps you need in order to sell your premium offer next week. I know that so many of you think that this has to take a lot of time, that it, you know, selling your premium offer, oh my God, it feels like a distant thing. And what I want to talk about today is how to make it a thing that you literally know how to implement by next week. Like really the way that you think about your clients and how distant or how close they are to you really defines how quickly those sales come in. So we're going to, we're going to talk about four things that four steps, and we're going to rate you in your confidence in your, I'm going to give you a, basically a process to rate yourself so that you understand what needs to change for you to be able to literally sell your offer next week. So welcome everyone who is joining. I love seeing you all here. Hello, 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 all the new faces. By the way, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Juliana Garcia and I help coaches clarify their message so that they can attract premium clients. And by the way, if you have been watching on the sidelines, today, June 15th, is the last day to join the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind and get the bonuses that you get with that, that I've never offered before. So you basically get two extra months of coaching, which is insane. We start in July before the cohort starts in September. And you also get a thousand dollars off. So that ends today. So make sure that you send your application because this is the cutoff date. I'm going on vacation next week. And so this is the time to do it. All right, so I wanna hear where everyone is joining from before we go on because I literally just had like 10,000 people join my, um, my Instagram. And I'm like, where are the people at? So let me know in the comments where you're, in fr where you're from. And same on Facebook. Hi, Kate, good to see you here. Okay, so I have my notes here. I have a call literally in 25 minutes. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna get started. Okay, so the reason why this is so important that I want everyone to really like tune out all the noise maybe from the day and just get so present here. The reason why it's so important to understand what you need in order to sell your premium offer next week is because people think that it has to take time, that it's really hard to sell a premium offer, that maybe you get one client every few months. But you guys, results don't take time. Results take courage. And that is actually something that one of my friends, Alex, Alex Mosco, shared with me a long time ago, and it changed my life. Because the reason why you can get, some people just get fast results and they just get an overflow of clients and the reason why other people don't, it's because of their relationship with how they think about where clients are at. So I want you to start thinking for yourself, where do you think, how, do, how would you rate your confidence in clients being in your audience ready to work with you like what are your thoughts if i told you like there are 10 clients i want to buy from you next week like would you believe me would you say yeah i agree or would you say like nah not really like my audience doesn't have money my audience really needs to think about it they have a lot of objections like what where are you at and i want you to notice that because that really determines the speed at which it can come to you, 110%. Think about this, when you're doing a live stream or when you're writing a, a, a post or doing a reel, whatever it is, if you have the mentality of like, this is gonna take a long time for people to buy, then you're gonna come up with the energy of not really speaking directly to the client that is watching right here, right now, that wants your offer. You're gonna be fluffing around. You'll be like, well, maybe you want this. I know that it's a lot. I know that maybe later. I know that you won't have the conviction because you don't believe people are watching. And so the first thing that I really want you to understand is that results don't take time, they take courage. And what I'm gonna teach you today is gonna to help you elevate the courage, elevate very strategically the things that you need, to, you need to upgrade in order for you to make it inevitable to sell your highest ticket offer next week, cool? So give me a one in the comments if you're ready to set to hear the first thing that we need to upgrade while I take some water. Give me a one. Let me just get my notes up here. Okay, perfect. So 
Love it, Kate. Love it. Love it. Okay, so the first thing I want you to rate yourself. We're going to rate you in four different areas. Awesome, Grace. We're going to rate you in four, these four different areas because there's four different components. So the first area that I want you to rate yourself on is this question. How confident are you in the belief that you can be a premium coach that people pay next week? Where's your confidence at? And you can't use seven. You can't rate yourself at seven. So the question is, how confident are you in your own belief that you are a premium coach that can be paid next week? That somebody can sign up for your offer next week? Where are you at? If I ask you right now, like really, where are you at? Are you like a uh, two? Are you like 10? For sure, it can happen, definitely. I know that there's people watching and I know I'm so close, like, like they're literally just right there. Or I know my, I'm gonna get a client next week. Like, where are you at in your confidence? And I don't want you to use a seven because sevens is like the rate, it's like the number where people hide. So you're not allowed to use a seven. So I actually wanna hear in the comments, like what would, what would you rate yourself if you were to ask yourself that question? How confident are you in your ability to know that you're a premium coach and that you can get a client next week? Are you premium offer? Okay. So Kate says four, I love the transparency. It's so important, let's be transparent here. And here's the thing, what I wanna tell you about this is that the thoughts and beliefs that you have about yourself in relation to your ability to attract clients are the foundational piece that allow the client to come in with a lot more ease and simplicity and without you having to control the process. So if I'm a coach and I think, I don't know. I feel like people don't really like me that much. I feel like there's so much noise. There's just so many coaches out there that offer the same thing as I am. And like, it takes a long time for people, you know, it's taken me a long time for people to, to come to me and sign up. That energy, though, that belief system is going to create a sense of doubt in yourself. And when you're feeling doubtful, you're not going to go sell with the conviction that this live stream is going to make me money. <laughs> you're not going to be in that vibe. Okay, someone here says two to three, amazing. So the question that I want you to ask yourself is what would it take for you to take that to a 10? What would it take for you to take it to a 10? Like what would need to shift about the way that you see yourself in order to take that to a 10? And I want you to really sit with that question, right? What are the, what are the thoughts that you have about you that need to be eliminated or need to be processed or need to be coached on, that need to be let go of, that need to be elevated in order for you to feel like you're a 10. And if you need support with this, this is why I wanna invite you to apply for the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind because this is what we do as soon as you join. We get you from like whatever score you are to a 10. And this is what my clients do. They literally just watch the first part of the program, which is not even module one, it's like module get prepared. <laughs> And that is $10,000. They're like, that elevated me to such a, in such a way that like was worth $10,000 of what I paid. Because that's the investment of the program when you're in the early bird. And so if you want support in really collapsing the timeline for you to get from the two or the three or the four or this eight to really get yourself to a 10 so that you really know that is inevitable, then I, wanna, I really wanna invite you to apply. It's, you can ask anyone who has joined the program in the past and you can literally like go through the testimonials, reach out to people if you want, like know that you need to because their results don't mean anything about you. You actually are the creator of your own results and you could create even better results. But every single person that comes through the program, they literally say like that was one of the, the most powerful things that we did because we really elevate, eliminate anything that's in the way of you being in full belief that this is inevitable for you next week. Simple, okay? So what would it take for you? And I wanna hear in the comments, like what is one belief that you would need to let go of in order for you to believe that that's possible for you next week? Is it that people aren't watching? Is it that I don't know if I can deliver results? Is it like um, it's gonna take a lot of, like a long time for people to be convinced, right? Okay, let's see what you say. Accepting my success, I don't seem to allow myself to appreciate my success because there's more to work on and there's, there is better to be done. So notice that thought, it always, it makes you feel like you're always behind, doesn't it? I feel like behind should be a feeling. 
people feel behind all the time, right? It's not like, it's, it's not an actual feeling, but I feel like we should just decide that behind is a feeling because so many of us always think, oh, well, I've done this, but it's not enough. So in my, what if, and this is the, the, the belief that I install, or that I know you install, but I, I offer my clients. I'm like, what if 50% was enough? Because you know how we're in this mentality in this kind of um, society where you have to go all in, all in, 100% of the time, going all in. And like, it's not sustainable for us to go all in all of the time. It actually is not. We are not robots. If we were robots, different story. We should totally do that, right? But not, not, not we're, we're humans. And so what people sometimes do is like, they go all in on content creation and selling and they do this thing and then they crash. And then they're like, oh, my computer just died. Did it just die? Oh, hold on. Okay, no, here we are. <laughs> okay, here we are. Um, and on Facebook. What if your 50% was more than enough? I want to give you the freedom for all of you high achievers. And like, especially for me, I gave this coaching to a client. What if your 50% all of the time was enough? What if you didn't have to put the pressure on yourself that you have not done enough and that you could be doing more? Like, what if you just eliminated that from your mentality? Like, I wonder how much better you would feel and how much more you would enjoy the creation process in your business. Because you're putting so much pressure on yourself and comparing yourself to other people's whatever output. We all have different outputs. And the most important thing is that you know what is your, what is your 100%? And like, what if you just operated at the 50? And I know this is controversial and you might, people might be like, what? Terrible advice. And like, because I'm all about like elevating, I'm always in the growth and elevation, but it's not sustainable when we always want to go 110% of the time, right? So really I want to give you permission to actually create more consistency and rhythm and flow in your business versus going for like a big spike and then being like, ah, I didn't get the result that I wanted and then feeling disappointed and then you lose believe in yourself and then you think it's going to take a long time to get clients, right? If you were operating at your 50%, if let's, just make, let's just make that enough. You would have so much more energy and vitality to just keep going even if things don't, don't work out the way you wanted it. Okay, Katie says, I would need to remove my own experience from what I am assuming about my potential clients. Yes! I coach neurodivergent entrepreneurs and there are so many NDs who had me, who had the lived experience of being disenfranchised from school or employment that was my experience so i need to honor the potential of my nd clients more than the very real challenges they have oh my god okay so this is so important for i love what you just say kate because we take away the power from our clients without even realizing it by seeing them as victims and what i do inside the magnetize and monetize mastermind is i help you understand how to a see your clients in the empower version of themselves and b how to speak to them so that your content actually attracts them to your offer and it's so easy when people teach marketing and you know they say speak to the pain points they speak to the suffering speak to the pain speak to the pain and like it's not it's not a, it's not a bad advice it's just not when you do it from a place of oh let me connect with your victimhood, you're going to attract people who are in victimhood, even if they're not victims, because you're speaking to that archetype that they have inside of them. So I attract clients who are empowered because I speak to the empowered version of who they are. So it is important that you have the realization, Kate, to honor the, poten the potential, the elevated version of your client so that you actually can speak to them in your marketing in that way, okay? Okay. My God, how do we have 10 minutes left and I've only gone through thing number one? Okay, thing number two. Let's do it. So the first thing is, how would you rate your believing yourself? Thing number two is, how confident do you feel in the way that you have designed your offer? How confident do you feel in the way that you have designed your offer? So if I gave you 10 clients, how would you feel about delivering for them? Are you going to feel like, Oh my God, now I'm going to have to give all of these bonuses and all of these things that I over promise. I'm going to have to give this. Oh God, like, would it feel heavy for you to be delivering your offer? Or would it feel like, oh, I feel so happy. Like when they pay you, you actually feel nourished and you don't feel like there's this sense of burden. So you feel like they're getting taken care of and you feel like you're taking, being taken care of, right? If, 
what where what is your what is your confidence in the in the way that you have designed your offer? Do you have a process that you take people through that it feels very clear that you're not like scrambling every coaching before every coaching call and you're like I don't know what's now just like whatever. Like do you have an actual process? Do you have an idea of how you're going to guide people through the process, right? And also is the program structure actually supportive of your well-being because if you're not creating your program in a way that supports your well-being and like supports sustainability then we need to clean that up and that is also something that i help you do inside of the magnetize and monetize mastermind because people think that when you raise your price when you have a premium offer you have to you know stuff it like a christmas freaking not a christmas but like a thanksgiving turkey and like you that is the opposite of what you want to do you want to keep things even more simple and more elegant because people don't want more stuff people already have enough shit to do right and so the more that you simplify it the more confident you're going to feel in delivering it and so that's the next step rating yourself how confident do you feel in the structure of your offer is that why you're not really selling it powerfully because you actually feel subconsciously burdened by the thought of selling it because you're like if i sell this premium offer that means that i'm going to be like inundated with work and then i won't i can only take maybe one or two more clients before i feel like i have to give them boxer one-on-one -on -one support email support emotional support like i feel like i owe them a liver a kidney like people literally go crazy like they they they, they they, they feel like they, uh, they need to overcompensate for their price by giving so much, right? So if that's you, notice what can you take away? How can you find the value of your offer? And this is what I do in like literally module three of my program. We literally give you a process for you to be able to have the structure that supports your well-being and also find the price that feels like a drop in the ocean for them, but that is high value for you and for them. That it, it, it encompasses the lifetime value of your offer not just like the three month experience that they're gonna have cool okay kate says i feel super confident that i can deliver and program in a program that i've been running for a year but i also feel like i can do so much better at getting my offer to support my well-being interesting great so that's really that's that's an important thing for you to be able to revisit whether it's next week or whether it's now you can really make some decisions and also the, the way that i would support you with that is understanding like what do you think is absolutely necessary and what do you think that you're doing to fill a gap or to fill some space because the more that we make it feel that we, that we make it lighter and simple the better so just notice what feels like an obligation and what feels like actually absolutely necessary for results okay let's go with thing number three let's go with thing number three Reese socks oh my god good to see you here love okay so how confident do you feel in your price that's the next area how confident do you feel in your price like when you imagine yourself when you go on a sales call do you feel wobbly saying it's twenty thousand it's ten thousand it's five thousand whatever premium looks like for you because premium is not like a specific bracket it's just whatever premium feels like for you so how do you feel when you say your price? Do you feel like, oh my God, absolutely. This is like, it feels good in my body. It feels aligned. It feels like nourishing. And it feels like so aligned with the value that I'm going to deliver. Or are you feeling scared that people are going to say no? Are you feeling like, oh my God, this is too much. Who am I to charge this? Like, what if, if they say no that I'm doomed? Like, my, like, do you have price drama or do you have price peace? what is your rating how what would you say that where, where are you at <laughs> so important that you understand where you're at because you can have the best offer the best pro the best everything but if you don't feel really grounded in the value of your offer when it comes to your price then you're not going to be able to sell it you're not going to be able to sell it because you won't be able to hold a space on a sales call to for you to not feel like the client's objections shake you, right? People are always gonna have objections. People are always gonna have thoughts. I don't even see them as objections. I just see them as like their thoughts about their next steps. And I am 
so confident in my price. I can talk about it, I can say it, I can say it like it's like my name, my favorite drink. It's just like so obvious to me. Even when like when I was charging 30K for my one-on-one up until when I started charging 120K for my one-on-one, all the way from when I went from magnetized was like 5K, now it's 11K, right? I, it, I always practice, okay, how, what would it take for me to feel really confident in my price? And the way you do that is by looking for the lifetime value that the program brings to your client instead of looking at how many modules, how many weeks, how many lessons, how many, like whatever, worksheets they get. It's not about time. And this is why we need to get out of the time mentality and you need to start, you need to enter the value paradigm. That's how you make money as an entrepreneur. Not by thinking, not by trading time, but by really creating value. So you not only create value, but you measure your program and your offer based on the value that it actually gives your client long term. So if I can help you save your marriage, was it worth it to pay $7,000 or $10,000? I mean, how much is it to get a divorce? I always, I always offer that example because if you're a relationship coach and you're afraid to charge $10,000, $20,000, and you can literally help somebody find the right partner or save their marriage or whatever. Is it worth it when a divorce is like over $200,000? And not only that, but all the pain and all the suffering. Like we need to start seeing the value of what we're giving people, the transformation that you give people in a whole, through a whole other lens other than dollars. Like it's not just the dollars, it's the value and the transformation that you give. And I get so passionate about this because I'm so committed to helping people see the value of, of the, the value of what they bring to the world and actually price it accordingly. This is how I'm like, I'm a Latina <laughs> immigrant. Didn't even, language isn't even my, I mean, English isn't even my first language, as you can see. But look at where I made it. I made it here, not by thinking like most people think. I had to really open my eyes to value myself and value my gift in a completely different way. And this is where life has, uh, where this is, I, I don't wanna say where life has taken me, but this is the life that I always envisioned that I have created is because I see the world through a different lens, through the lens of, oh wow, what I bring to the world is so valuable my delivery in my programs is so fucking valuable. Like you can ask anybody who has joined the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind and they will tell you it's the most comprehensive and amazing program that I've been in. It's the last marketing mastermind that you'll ever need, really. That's what I, I don't even say that, my clients say it. And I didn't get here because somebody just handed over the program to me. I went through the steps of believing, of elevating and doing this rating. Okay, where do I, where do I not feel confident? What would it take for me to feel more confident? How can I see things with a diff from a different lens so I'm not overworking and I'm actually delivering huge value but without burdening myself, right? And all of this, I know that right now I might feel like, but how do I do it? This is why I want to invite you to join the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. You get the two months extra coaching, which I've never done before. So we can get you, start co we can get you coached starting in July and then the actual program starts in September. So you get access to more months of coaching, which has never been done before and a thousand dollars off. And the last thing before I go, because I have a call. So the last thing, the most important, okay, the thing that I talk about and I will never shut up about, how confident do you feel in your marketing? How confident do you feel in your marketing? And when I say that is how confident do you feel in your ability to articulate the value of what you offer in a really clear way that makes people turn their heads and be like, wait, what? I want that. What's your rating? Be honest. And it's easy to rate because you will see it by the engagement that you get with people like the, the responses that you get from people know that you have to have dms from people all the time like i don't i don't that's not a measurement of it but it's in the way that people approach you so are people approaching you with um you're so inspirational i love what you share or are people approaching you with like hey i want to know more about your program um it's, it's really calling me and um, I really wanna explore working together. Well, how, how are you 
What's the rating? Because if your marketing language is being too inspirational, it's cute. You might get lots of likes, comments, and like dopamine hits, but like, is it landing in your bank account? Right? Are we, how, what is the, is the marketing actually helping you in your conversions? And here's the thing that I want to say that people think like, well, what, what does that mean? How do you do it? That's what I help you in the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. I help you clarify your message so that you can attract premium clients. And I just give you an example of how I did it with a client just before. She's doing, um, she's a health coach. She helps women in their 40s who have hormonal problems. And she helps them like really balance their body, their mind, their soul. And that can be really fluffy, right? Like there's a lot of people saying that. And we landed in such a powerful um, description of her offer and her challenge that she's gonna do to launch the offer uh, for the third time, that it literally made people, I'm like, if I see that, I'm gonna click on it. Like, I'm gonna want it. And it feels in integrity and it feels clear. And so are people really giving you that like, oh my God, that speaks to me. You know exactly what I'm feeling energy in your in your in your messages in your dms in your comments or are people kind of like oh you're so sweet that's so cute you know like that thank you thanks for the inspiration and are you seeing it in applications that's how you can rate the efficiency of your marketing and the confidence that you have in your marketing okay now the last thing that i want to share is that being clear and being potent in your marketing doesn't mean over teaching and this is something that i see a lot of my clients because the, the people that i work with are coaches who are highly qualified who are really good at what they do who like literally can if i give them 10 clients they'll just like know that they can transform their lives right the thing that they have is that they don't know how to communicate all that wisdom in their in words or in marketing and they just they're just like how do i translate how do i do it they're speaking to they're speaking all the coach language or all the diagnosis language and all the jargon and they're they're using that or fluffy words like being the goddess in your you know goddess elevated thing and it's like what does that even mean and I help them translate that into words that people actually not only understand, but also want to pay for because they directly communicate the value. And sometimes people think that to communicate the value, you have to over teach. And so you get in there in a live stream and then you start teaching, 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 and you talk about all the things. And then you give people a false sense of satisfaction or you actually confuse them and you make them think longer about wanting to work with you because they're like, oh my God, I feel like I don't understand half of what she's saying, but I think I need it, but I don't know. It doesn't feel relevant. So it's so important that you really do an audit of your, of your message and, and take a look at like, is this clear? Do I feel like, ask your, ask your ideal clients, ask people like, would you wanna buy this program, right? Or hire me and I can help you and I can tell you like, here are the upgrades that you need because the marketing language that you use is the only, is the core most important thing, is the easiest way to elevate your revenue and have consistency in your, in your, in your sales. With, without a clear message, you're gonna get busy doing reels, doing posts, do, doing all the work, but not getting the results because your message isn't clear. So it's so important that you understand with precision, what are the words that you need to use in order to communicate the value of what you offer? Okay, my loves. So I have a call that started two minutes ago. So this is my, so I'm gonna go, and this is my last reminder. So I'm gonna go away on vacation, by the way, to Europe. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for all the stories. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna go next week. I'm gonna go to Lisbon. I'm gonna go to Berlin. And then I'm gonna go to like a secret destination that I am being taken to, which is so fun. <laughs> Um, so stay tuned, stay tuned for my stories. Uh, I won't be doing a live stream, but I'm going to be emailing you guys trainings that I've done in the past that are so freaking bomb so that you can still keep your learning with me together and, and, and just getting the value. But just remember that today is the last day to send your application to join the magnetize and monetize mastermind. The cohort starts in September, but you want to join early because this is when you get 
not only the $1,000 off and the two months of coaching, but you get access to all of the modules to start making money. Like my clients start making their money back in the first, with the first module. So if you don't know what the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind is, it's a three month experience where I can help you clarify your message so that you can attract premium clients. And so the first thing that we do is we elevate the quality of clients that you attract so that you attract empowered clients, not clients that feel like a heavy lift. Then we clarify your offer. What is your process? How do you communicate the value of it? Like, what is your tagline? What is it that, what is the promise of what you offer? And what is the methodology that you take people through? We clean that up. If you already have one, we make it even more delicious. Or if you don't have one, we help you create one so that you feel really confident in explaining, how do I take you from here to there, client, so that they also get it. Then I help you clarify your, your brand message. So how do you communicate the value of your offer to the right people? What are the words that you need to say to explain? Literally, we, we have a process to help you do all of this so that you feel confident in communicating it in live streams, in content, in anything, in a reel, whatever. It, it's all the same. It applies to any format. Then I teach you how to distribute your content and the different types of content that actually really create conversions because there's content creation, but then there's content that actually creates conversions. So how to write posts that create people raising their hand and reaching out to you. And once people are reaching out to you, I teach you how to like carry that conversation through all the way from stranger to becoming a premium client. And what that means is I help you create a pre-qualification process to make sure that the person that is that you're engaging with, that is applying to work with you, is pre-qualified and pre-motivated to become a client so that by the time that they get on the phone with you, you know that they're the right person. They already know your process. They already are in love with you. There's no convincing, manipulating or anything. And I give you my soulful sales process that literally has taken my clients from like never have, having done a sales call before to enrolling to a 90%. All by learning how to hold space for the client to make an aligned decision and for you to manage your internal state so that you're not in needy, graspy energy and you feel just really relaxed, really abundant, and you have the capacity to hold space for people as they are making this decision. So that's what we do inside of the program is the last marketing mastermind that you will ever need. Make sure that you apply today to get the bonuses. And I'm going to go to my call. I love you all. Go click in the link in my bio. Or if you have a question about it, send me a message and I'll be super happy to answer any questions. All right, my loves, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you soon.